Well, welcome and thank you for watching this second episode of our Top Trends in the Software and Digital Platforms video series. These videos are a series of discussions with industry experts that aim to shed light on current trends, shaping the future of software and digital platforms. I'm Mark Pullen, a Security Specialist General Manager at Microsoft, and today we're speaking with Joe Peterson from Clarify360. Great to see you again, Joe. Thank you so much for having me today. So Joe is an engineer focused on the cloud, cloud security, cybersecurity, and it's been called a top cloud influencer by Analytica and a major player in the cloud arena by Silicon Republic. As vice president of cloud and security services for, Clar for Clarify 360, Joe has a background in engineering, deep experience in IT infrastructure, the cloud and cybersecurity. She and her team develop and design solutions for a wide range of customers, including Fortune 500 companies. A member of several technology councils, Joe is also a founding co-chair of Cloud Girls, a not-for-profit community of female thought leaders focused on coming together to learn, empower, inspire, and give back. She's also a veteran of the US Air Force and an active mentor and supporter of veterans in the tech industry. Um, so it's great to be talking with, with you again, Joe. Um, I've got my first question for you. Chat GPT, the open AI chat bot that's taken the world by storm. My daughter's been using it for, she says it's better than her math teacher. Was just updated with the release of Chat GPT 4. How can Chat GPT's capabilities help to improve cybersecurity? Well, again, thanks for having me here to visit. And Chat GPT is just exciting and everybody's buzzing about it. So there's so many good use cases that I can think of, but three of the ways. Um, that it are going to help are, are super specific. So overarchingly, it's going to help with speed and automation. Let me say that. But the three that come to mind are API security, anti-phishing training, and security analysis. So if we think about API security, every company that I know uses APIs. So it's just a thing. Um, and there's three ways that ChatGPT can help here. So you could use ChatGPT to debug APIs. ChatPT is super code aware, and the more language is used, the more it learns it can help. Um, you can actually put API code in and ask the platform to debug it, and the output's pretty accurate. Admittedly, the security challenge is that you may be putting proprietary code into another platform where it can be viewed, but this is the same thing that happens with Stack Overflow um, right now. And with ChatGPT, the answer is, is a couple seconds away. You can use ChatGPT to write APIs. So this could mean fewer vulnerabilities and fewer exploits. You could use ChatGPT to find security flaws in existing APIs. So ChatGPT can analyze your APIs for operational issues, but it can also help you understand where the flaws might exist in your code. Often software is made up of dependent libraries of activities, not necessarily shortcuts but operations that are performed over and over and may com be combined with other libraries. For example, there are millions of bad Java libraries in the world, out in the wild. What if you dropped in the dependencies and asked that the libraries are secure? That's already happening for some organizations. So a simple library analysis is allowing developers to double check third parties that they rely on in, in order to ensure that the code is secure. Think about if it could be incorporated into a company's anti-phishing training to raise the bar for employee awareness and robustness of process safety. And then last, ChatGPT, and maybe this is the biggest one, can help security analysts in analyzing and reporting on security threats in the wild, which will lead to faster discovery, a faster and wider sharing of threat intelligence, and ultimately faster remediation of the exposure to those threats. That's fantastic. So it sounds like AI could really help companies with security issues. What are a few of the immediate ways, in your opinion, that customers can benefit from JetGPT enabled cybersecurity tools? If I think of it in two ways, I think about it from an offensive perspective. ChatGPT can empower workers to be more productive and empower the business to make better decisions, sort of like what we talked about in our last point, uh, in the last question. From a defensive standpoint, businesses can use it to put a strategy in place that protects their organization and employees from evolving security risks stemming from new technology. So larger organizations are looking at how they can put policies in place to update procedures, protocols against AI enabled bad actors because the bad actors are using this. There are 
you know, there's no question in mind um, that they're using us. But I want to talk a little bit of, about a product that Microsoft recently introduced, Security Copilot. And folks might not be aware um, of its capabilities because it's new, right? Um, and I was reading some really cool things that it can do, that it can ingest and make sense of huge amounts of security data, including 65 trillion security signals that Microsoft pulls every day. I mean, that's just, I can't even think about that number. And I, I'd read, Mark, that it can reverse engineering exploits. It can respond in minutes. Um, it can offer critical step-by-step -step guidance. It can quickly summarize some of the process stuff we were talking about. And then it can surface up and bubble potential threats in real time. And it can even anticipate a threat actor's next move. Did I get that right? What am I missing? Well, we're certainly very excited about Security Copilot. And there's going to be many more, many more capabilities that are going to be within the Copilot across the broad security tool set. But I think that the crux of Security Copilot is it's simplifying the complex. And that's something you, that you've been touching on. And it's allowing SOC analysts to, to focus and respond to incidents in minutes, not hours, which is what sometimes it can take. So it's not just going to be the, the capability that's built within in Copilot. It's going to be the way you manage the entire incident. So you'll be able to pin a prompt into a prompt book so that everyone that's working on the, on the incident can follow along and they can add their own prompts in. And then you can go back and look at those prompts and say, well, what worked and what didn't as you do a debrief post-incident. It's not just going to be within the Microsoft tools. It's going to be end-to-end -end across all tools in the organization. Underpinning, it's going to be a security-specific language model. So we're going to train the model on the security terms and things that are very relevant to the security industry. So it's it's even more tuned to the security analyst. Um, something that really struck me was in your earlier point was is the point on people. And if I was looking at a SAN survey about SOC analysts and 55% of respondents have said that they they would consider walking away from their jobs due to the pressure they feel. And that to me is why this is so key is because their, their dis dissatisfaction comes from too much information, more than they can handle, um, too many alerts, too much noise. And I think that's really where, if we think about the people, that's where Copilot's gonna have such an impact. Let's talk about what the conversations that are happening in the wild among CISOs right now. Everyone that I talk to is worried about the exfiltration of their corporate data. Some more than others. Um, some have it nailed down, some don't, and it's a fair worry. So given the damage that unauthorized transfers of information have caused, um, I wanted to take a minute, if you're, if you're so inclined, and talk about sort of this new age of generative AI and the position that Microsoft has taken that guides their data privacy. I think it's a big deal. I think it is because privacy is privacy regardless of the, the technology that you're using. And Microsoft's data privacy principles are applied across our entire organization. And if you look at our long-standing commitment to responsible AI, if you go back to the work that Brad Smith, our president has done, where he's spoken to Congress, the book he's written, the AI is designed to a core set of principles, which is fairness, reliability, safety, privacy and security, inclusiveness, transparency, and accountability. And right there, privacy and security, privacy is one of the core principles. So when we think in terms of security co-pilot, your data is your data if you're an organization. So your, your data is not used to train or enrich a foundation AI. It only enriches the AI within your organization the AI that underpins it is protected by the same security and compliance that we use across all our tools in Azure, et cetera. So you've got all that control that you already use within the security copilot and the Microsoft security tool sets. Um, Joe, I could speak to you for hours, um, but thank you for the conversation today. Um, and thanks for sharing your perspective, particularly on AI and security and chat GPT. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us today on AI and security? Well, look, it as we all learn about its capabilities and its and its possibilities, there's gonna be a bad side and a good side, right? But I tend to be a glass half full person and I think it, it can be bright if the tools are used in the right way, right? So if we're talking about tools like security, Copilot to help 
with heavy lifting around anomaly prediction, anomaly detection, anom you know, attack response, those are all good things. AI is going to play a bigger and bigger role in the battle against cybercrime as cyber threats develop and just get more comp you know, complex. So that's what I think. Yeah, I, I agree. I think as you and I walk into the soccer of the future, in the modern soccer, it's going to be great to hopefully see people not as overwhelmed by the security and that AI is really helping them in terms of them doing their daily jobs. And hopefully it will attract more people into our industry, which is what we need. Um, so again, thanks. Security is an incredibly important part of what we do. Um, for everyone who's watching this, if you're interested in hearing more perspectives on top trends in software and digital platforms, watch the rest of our series, which features other industry experts discussing the latest trends they're seeing. Stay tuned and hope to see you again soon. <laughs>